Back to the black here. Get ready to go outside and bleed the cooling system on the Cadillac DeVille. It's not running hot, but since I put the the overflow tank, it does go one notch over half, and I believe it's doing that because it has air in it. So today I'm going to show you guys how to remove that air. I guess it helps if I unlock that, huh? Hey, I guess that little drain thing worked, huh? Okay, um, you gotta take this off. You gotta get a container to put the water in and you gotta let it run. The engine has not run. I don't even think I crank it up yesterday. So it hasn't ran. It's quite cold. All right, guys, this is what you wanna do. You wanna take the hose off, run it into a container like that and you want to start the engine up and let it idle. Uh, some people say step on the gas, but you don't want the engine to heat up very quick. You want to keep the engine cool. So another thing you might want to open this up. But anyway, I'm getting ready to start the engine up. water is coming out every time you see a little sud that is air a little whiteness and the reason you want the water to run into here is because you don't want it to heat up the water in here is going to going through the cooling system and it's going into the heater course and then into the Okay, now I just messed up. Damn it. Okay, why did I mess up? Because I let that run dry. You can't let that run dry. When you let it run dry, you have to start all over again. So, Take this. Remember I said you don't want to put this back in the engine? Well, it's still cool. You shouldn't do this because it's, it's going to heat up, but I don't have to remove that much air. It's not that much air in my engine, it's a little bit. So um, I'm gonna crank it up again. And I need to bring, I'm gonna bring some motor put in there cause I don't want that to run empty again. Let me see. See, it's kind of like when you bleeding a brake system, you don't want the master cylinder to drive, to run dry because if it do, it's gonna put air into your system. <clears throat> So let me, I wasn't expecting it to go dry so quickly. I'm gonna fill this almost up. Yeah, that is filled almost up. Almost. So again, I'm gonna crank the car up and let it run for a minute. And it won't, hopefully it won't go dry. Whenever 
Whenever you see suds come out of here, it's air. It's got a constant flow. So I did see some suds one time. Like I said, there's not a lot of air in there, but there is some in there. Okay, you want to keep an eye on that and make sure it don't go dry, because if it goes dry, it's going to put air right back in the system. All right, so it's halfway down. I'm going to cut it off. Like I said, I don't believe it was too much air in there. I don't believe, but anywho, that's how you get the air out of your Cadillac North Star. So um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna close it up and drive it for a day or two. Well, for a day anyway. And I'm gonna keep an eye on this to make sure it's not low because if it runs low, it puts air in the system again. So um, let's take this out. Let's take it back on, back on here. Now, yes, this is supposed to go down in there, but I like to keep an eye on it. I want to see when cooling is shooting out. So we're gonna take this. And we're gonna close this up. By the way, I am using Dexcool. Dexcool is perfectly fine. The people who are having problems out of it because they leave it on, leave it in too long. So hopefully this will take care of the problem. 